Hi Red Rangers, this is Miss Harvey and today I'm going to go over the assignment. You guys will be reading Wagon Train at Dusk and with this we're going to practice that thinking while you're reading. And so as you're reading you will come up to some highlighted text and then you will have a question associated with that. And so then you will continue reading some more and you'll have some more highlighted text with the question attached to it. And so this is going to help you start practicing that thinking while you're reading. And we're here to help guide you. And that's what today is going to do is guide you in that process. And so if you are looking at today's assignment, you need and you think, wow, that's really small. I can't even read that. What you can do is come up here. There's a magnifying glass. Hit that and zoom in. You will then have to go to the cursor again, just so you don't keep zooming in. So what I would do is, as always, read the instructions. And so it says, today you will be practiced thinking as you're reading. Read the text. When you get to the highlighted text, you will have a question. Read the highlighted question. Reread the highlighted text again and respond to the questions in complete sentences. So I will show you an example of what we mean by this. And so if you scroll down on the first slide, you have your first question, and it says make a prediction of what you think the story will be about based on the title. After you're done, continue reading on the second slide. So based on the title, Wagon Train at Dusk, what do you think the story is going to be about? So then you go over to the next slide, and you can see how it has highlighted um, these colors, and then on the side is a corresponding question. Okay, so this is highlighted in pink, so that's going to go to question number one. And then this is highlighted in this yellow, and then it'll go to question number two. And then you have their green, and that will go to question number three. And then it will continue very similar on the second slide. So as you're reading, what we're wanting you to do is to practice that thinking while you're reading. So whenever you get to these highlighted parts, you will stop and answer the question. And so how that might look is, let's look at number one. Sometimes you just have to laugh, I tell my daughter, who is having an especially bad day. She lost her favorite bracelet, she turned in the wrong homework assignment, and she just found out she was playing marshmallow number two in the class play. And so I can see that this is highlighted, so I know there's a question associated with it. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to say, how does the author grab the reader's attention? So I'm going to reread this part in chapter one. Sometimes you just have to laugh, I tell my daughter, who is having an especially bad day. And then now I know how to answer the question. So I'm going to go to my response and I'm going to say, So my response, remember to always write in complete sentences, is the author grabs the reader's attention by saying, sometimes you just have to laugh. So this is already getting me to think, okay, what is this story is going to be about? Um, what is going to happen? Did his daughter's having a bad day? Is he going to try to make her laugh? Or what's going on here? And so this is how the reader draws us in. He hooks us in to read more, to figure out, okay, what is going to happen? So then after you finish question one, you will continue reading. And then you can see in paragraph five, you get to this highlighted version. So there's a question associated with it. So paragraph five says that doesn't stop me. When I was in sixth grade, I say to, in my storyteller's voice, we had to make a shoebox dioramas of a scene from American history. I decided to do a wagon train traveling across the Great Plains in the mid 1800s. So here I notice it's highlighted, so I go to question number two, and I say based on what the father says in the fifth paragraph, what do you think the mood of the story is? So how do you, do you think it's going to be lighthearted? Do you think it's going to be serious? Do you think it's going to be scary? What do you think based on this paragraph that is highlighted, the mood is going to be? So I would then go and reread it. That doesn't stop me. When I was in sixth grade, I say in my storyteller's voice, we had to make a shoebox dioramas of a scene from American history. I decided to do the wagon train traveling across the Great Plains in the mid 1800s. And so then you would come here and respond. So you will continue on for all the highlighted parts you see and continue reading. 
When you get to the second slide at the end, we have another prediction that you will make. What do you think is going to happen next in the story? And then you continue on to the second slide. So it's the same thing. Whenever you get to the highlighted part, you stop, read the question, reread the highlighted part, and then answer the question and respond. And you just continue doing that. As always, if you need any help or if you need anything, please let us know.